for this review, we have the Masters of the Universe cross Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Merman. This is a deluxe figure, comes in a larger square box with a flap on the top. We get to see his accessories. Colors are looking pretty cool. Um, he does have a gimmick where he's got, you know, kind of this uh, fish tail that he comes with, but he can also have like regular legs. On the side, we get some nice artwork. Looks very traditional merman. On this side, we get to see the fish style merman. On the bottom, UPC and some legal stuff. And on the back, some really nice artwork. Merman. Um, he's got the power sword kind of being held captive and he's got the four turtles coming after him. So very nice. And the gimmick being advertised is that he's got the ability to attack from sea or he can have legs for land battles. Okay. So let's get him out of the package. So he will come with a basically a collector's card and there's a little instruction sheet that basically tells you you can uh, remove the limbs mix and match them but the card is really nice it is super thick and rigid and then on the back it tells you who he is a composite of and the strange thing is he is not a composite of a TMNT character all the other ones have been so it's saying that he is merman and he is mutation <laughs> so he's uh he's a little special and just so you can see how he comes in the package he's got the two weapons and that's pretty much it so let's get him out of the package and take a look at the figure Okay, here he is out of the package. He does come with two weapons. He comes with a set of legs. He is a... Call him a normal size figure. He's not uh, like the larger figures, like Slacker. The tail does have some articulation. There's uh, four points. So this bottom piece is going to be solid. You're always, always going to use this to stand him. And then technically you can do all kinds of things with the pieces, although I'm sure you're going to find that it's going to mess with the center of gravity. So even though you can pose a tail a lot, you're, you're going to be limited into what he can actually do standing. But for photography purposes, there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do. So this guy would just come apart. And you can put his regular legs on. Um, obviously, this piece is removable. This is also removable. There are ports in the back. So if you want to put, you know, slacker shield on him, you can. They they pretty much make these figures to be to have a lot of play value. So, you know, they're marketed for collectors and um, they don't mind if kids buy these. So lots of play value with them. And one thing is, you know, a lot of times these, these figures come with multiple weapons and hands that can hold them. He's got one gripping hand and then he's got this kind of, I don't know, like a, almost a trigger kind of hand. Um, he can't really hold this. You can pretend he's holding it. 
you know, let gravity hold it up, but he doesn't, he doesn't have a hand that can grip it. So just something to be aware of. He is uh, very translucent. He's got more of a clear plastic like the uh, the variant of Ram Man. Um, so that is interesting. And his head is very ornate. The gold color that they're using around his eyes and his lips, he's got uh, kind of a gradiated pattern. Actually, it may have something to do with the plastic. No, it's... He's kind of built that way. It's like uh, this piece is clear, but they've like faded done some kind of paint fading maybe on the uh, the the back side of this plastic but there he like he really stands out he's to me kind of got that little extra touch like beast man had that the other figures don't have like for instance uh skeletor is more of like your typical motu figure there's a lot of solid paint but this guy um his armor and everything it just, it just kind of makes him really stand out he's definitely different than the other figures i mean you know kind of kind of like looking at him and mikey like michelangelo solid colors you know lots of uh neon colors which a lot of the other characters have in this line um, instead he's got these very regal kind of colors and paint jobs going on um, plus his sword has color so it's this particular green and then there's like this uh, yellow um, airbrushing on the uh, back edge so um, kind of cool um, also, he's got this like weird little appendage sticking out where his uh, nose would be. So, a lot of stuff going on with this figure. Um, so there you have it. Uh, I don't think really anything else to talk about. Uh, he definitely stands out from the deluxe figures we've seen so far, and um. I mean, this is a good figure just to put in with your regular Motu stuff. Like, forget about Ninja Turtles. So um, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, whether you like this design or not. Um, does it break the laws of this crossover line? Because <laughs> he's not really like a composite of any character. Um, would you put this with your regular Motu collection or even some other fantasy collection? Um, so let me know, and uh, please tune into more videos coming up, and as always, thank you.